Hey, hey, hey everyone, Razbowski here, and welcome back to our Pixelmon Nuzlocke adventure! Today, guys, we're gonna be continuing on with the exploration of our Pixelmon world. We are in the hunt for some shiny Pokémon, we want to find some boss Pokémon, they have been elusive so far. We also want to try and find ourselves a jungle biome and a snowy biome, two biomes we have not yet discovered, which will be fantastic because it means the range of Pixelmon will be increased for us. We also want to try and get our Pokémon up a couple of levels because that would be nice and sweet. Unfortunately, guys... Let's talk about the last episode. Oh, that was totally my fault. Guys, if you've not seen the previous episode, go ahead and check that out because I'm going to be spoiling what happened. And it was a heart, a heart-wrenching episode. Titters. Titters are sweet, sweet Meltak. The very first Pixelmon we caught in this adventure bit the dust. She has bought the farm. Unfortunately, she took a brick break right to her others and a crit hip brick break, might I add, from a pincer and uh, and it just destroyed her. It was completely my own fault. I should have taken Titters out of the party. I should have taken her out of the fray, but I put too much... I put all my fa faith in her. I, she was my crutch and unfortunately, she paid the price. It was completely my own fault. I'm a terrible, terrible Pixel 1 trainer. Titters, wherever you are now, please, please forgive me. We will avenge your death. But guys, it wasn't all in vain. Titters was fighting the pincer, and the pincer that called her, uh, c called her? Killed her, um, is uh, in the party now, which he is sitting up the top of our party at level 44. Slayer, the male pincer, has joined the party, so it wasn't all in vain, which was good. That would have been terrible if she died, and we uh, missed out on the pincer. We also managed to capture ourselves a female by Sharp in the previous episode as well, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. If you've got some badass nicknames for the female by Sharp, then pop them down in the comment section below. And on Monday's episode, we will uh, rename that beautiful, beautiful by Sharp. Anyway, guys, off screen, I also did a little bit of leveling because we've got, we've got a variety of different levels there. Some of the Pokemon were falling behind. We've got level uh, 44 for Slayer. We've got Eren, who's now evolved into a beautiful Sceptile up at level 36. We've got Comet, who's evolved into Vibrava up at level 40. We've got Lily at level 41. We've got Thresh at level 41. And we've got by Sharp at level 55, which is the level we caught her at, I'm pretty sure. But either way, guys, we're going to carry on with the exploration. What I want to do today is I want to head over in this sort of direction, away from our home. Our home's sort of in that direction over there because this is the point we ended off the last episode. I just ran all the way back to the very sweet, 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 sweet titters. Anyway, we want to find ourselves some shiny Pokemon. We want to find ourselves some shiny Pokemon. We want to find ourselves some fat loot and we want to find ourselves some boss. Any of these Magikarps bosses? They don't appear to be. Let's jump up here. Let's jump up here real quick because we can get a nice little view of the plains as well. Oh. That Firo seems to be doing some kind of sweet, sweet dance moves. Look at that bastard. Look at that bastard go. Anyway, we're looking for bosses. That Arbok isn't. That Arbok isn't. Anyway, let's get going this way. We want to head this way. We want to head sort of southwest sort of direction because we've not been in that direction yet uh, at all. And we want to try and find, as I said, we want to find ourselves a shiny Pokemon. We want to find ourselves some fat loot along the way. And we still need to find ourselves a... Uh, a jungle biome. That bell sprout isn't going to be worth our time. That slow pocket isn't going to be worth our time. That ravine is definitely going to need to be avoided. We don't want to be messing about with that. But we do want to fire through here. That bell sprout isn't a boss or a shiny. So let's keep going this way, guys. I I I am so I'm still absolutely gutted. Oh, there's a there's a desert over there. Well, maybe we should go and explore that. I am still absolutely gutted. Absolutely gutted that we have that we that we lost Tetters in that in that previous episode. She was fan favorite. She was one of my favorites in the party. I absolutely loved her. She was what level 44, 46, something like that. She was absolutely monstrous. And the fact that we lost her so easily and so stupidly that that, that it was totally my own fault. And uh, what, what can you do? All I can do is apologize to you guys. That magmar is tiny. Look at it go. Okay, the Magmar wants to fight, but we don't want to fight you. We've got the Smoke Ball on Pinsir, and we're going to run away from you because we're going exploring. We don't want to be wasting time today. We want to do as much exploration as possible as we go through this desert. Guys, whew, I am sweating. This desert is hot. Acting. <laughs> um, this desert is, uh, well, it's quite clear. I like, I like the desert biomes, and apparently Groudon... Is it Desert Hills Groudon spawns? We've not had a legendary Pokemon spawn on us yet as well, so that's going to be something fantastic when that happens. Don't think we're going to go and uh, fight it because it'll probably kick our ass, but it would be nice to actually see the Pokemon spawn on us. Um, 
So let's keep going this way. I remember to bring a bed with us this time so we can sleep the night off because it's a lot easier searching for things in the dark. There is a zoo bat over there, a gold... Uh, I was going to say gold bat, but it's not gold bat. It's, uh, it's a zoo bat. Again, it's just slightly bigger. And gold bats look weird as hell in this game. We've got, we've got Graveler over there. I'm still looking for shinies. Come on. Shiny Pokemons, please be with us. We had bad luck in the last episode. We want some good luck in this one. So please, can we actually get some good luck? That would be absolutely fantastic. Oh! Oh, whoops, Slayer, come back here. Thank you very much. Um, we're just going to look about. Let's pick up the berries while we're going. We may as well. Uh, because the more berries, the better. Okay. So, we, while we're wandering through this uh, this forest here, and the, the Lady Anne is going ham on something over there, I think it just destroyed whatever it was going up against. And uh, we can talk about question of the day. Remember, guys, question of the day. What would you like to know about Raz? Pop it down in the comment section below, and I'll be picking uh, one of the ones uh, that I really, really like. And uh, remember, if you pop your... Whatever question it is, make sure it's not a yes or no, because I'm less likely to pick those ones because... Um, it's easy to answer them. I can either say yes or no, and then we can go on from there. It's a lot better if we have something that uh, we can actually discuss as the gold bat just goes through the trees. It's getting a bit dark. Should we jump off here? Yeah. YOLO! It's always risky when I do that, especially with the... Even, even though we got the feather fallen as well, it's going to be still a YOLO situation. YOLO, what the fuck am I? Like, five... Or something. Um, we've got a Golbat over there. Golbat might be an interesting Pokemon to capture. It is free and easy over there. It's not... Actually, nah, it's not a boss. It's not a boss. We're not wasting time. We've got a full party just now, so unless we lose one of the party members, we're just going to keep this team for a little while. Okay, Shinx. Um, you want a battle? Let's uh, take a brick break straight to your face. How about that? We'll take the redstone and we will move on. Um... Yeah, I want to know why. Why is Bisharp's box green there and the rest of them are white and this guy's grey? Does anybody know why? It would be nice to know. Um, I, I have no idea why. I haven't Googled it. I haven't bothered doing that. But maybe one of you friendly guys out there know, know what you're doing. Uh, more than me will be able to tell us. But let's let's sleep off the night. Let's have a little kip as the Zubat flies across us. I tell you what, I would not be sleeping with a Zubat hanging about. A big vampire bat. Oh, we can only sleep at night. I want to pick it up, don't I? I don't want to be uh, doing any more of this. We've got the Zubat over there still. And we've got Growlithe. Oh, come on. There's got to be a boss along the, the Savannah Plains here. That growl keeps getting in my way out of my way, growl. Um, yes, I was talking about question of the day. Today's question of the day is by... Is it Chibi Viri? Chibi Viri, and he, um, he or she, he slash she says, Other than Pokemon, what is your favorite game to play? Other than Pokemon, what is your favorite game to play? Well... Um, there's a couple of games that I used to like to play a lot, and that was uh, Call of Duty. I used to be a big Call of Duty fan. I used to love playing that. That was uh, uh, a really fun game that I like to play. We've got some giraffe rigs over there. But it was too stressful. It was far too stressful for me. Uh, people would call you a noob if you didn't get over one kill-death ratio or if you, you, you pulled the team down or whatever. And when you managed to get your skill base up so you were managing to get a better kill-death ratio, you were calling other people's noobs for pulling your team down. And there was too many campers. There's too many, too many bad tactics. Too many tactics that just stressed you out and i'm not i'm not about that i'm not, I, 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 if i'm gonna play a computer game i'm gonna play a computer game that i'm gonna enjoy that i'm gonna like that i'm gonna um have fun doing and i just wasn't having fun with call of duty so i kind of give that up it was the game was just too stressful it was just far too stressful it wasn't gonna be fun and it wasn't and, and it was just if, as I said, if I'm going to be playing a game, I just don't have much time to be playing games nowadays. I have time to play games for the channel, but I don't have many, much time to play, like, games for fun anymore, if you know what I mean. Yes, playing the games for the channel is fun, but I don't have much time to be playing games outside of what I do for the channel. So the, the half hour that I record each day is, is the, the limit that I will do. Because I'm working uh, six days a week, i um got to spend time with a girl and family and stuff like that as well, so... It's just one of those things, nine tails, gonna run away from you, there's no point fighting you. Um, gonna run away from you, and yeah, it was just, it was just too, too much, too much stress for me, too much stress. The, 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 the heart levels were pounding far too much, and it just wasn't, just wasn't uh, enjoyable. I used to like to play FIFA as well, but again, for the same, same reasons, there was too much, too much sweaty tactics, too much tactics, it was all about winning, it wasn't about having fun or anything like that. Oh, a scythe. Oh, look at that. Look at that model. It's beautiful. Scyther, I like the way you move. Um, we've got some Pokemon over here. Are any of them, are any of them going to be bosses or shinies? Look at their tongues. That is brilliant. None of them are shinies or bosses. That is very disappointing. Look at that guy having a little wade over there. There's a Fero trapped as well. 
Let's jump down here and let's go down here. Keep on going. Uh, keep on going sort of west sort of way. We want to keep away from um, where our base is. We want to try and get away far away as possible because we want to be spawning new land, generating new land and generating all this other kind of stuff. Shiny like the buzz is green, I think, so that's not going to be it. Um, one game that I really do like to play, like really, really do like to play, guys, is the Final Fantasy series. Is I absolutely love them. One, I used to love playing them because they, they take a long time to, to play, to complete, to get 100% or as close to 100% as possible. And I'm somewhat of a completionist, so I did like to play those games to try and get as much as possible. Um... And uh, Final Fantasy VII is my favourite game of all time. I absolutely love it. It's, 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 it's one of those games that um, a lot of people are do say is the best game of all time, along with, was it one of the Mario games or something? Was it Mario 64, I think? It's always up quite close to the top of the list as well. And... Uh, yeah, but Final Fantasy VII is, is, is clearly, is, is definitely my favourite game of all time. I at least play it somewhat like once a year. I've got, I've got a copy of it on my phone, so I'm always playing it on my phone if I'm on the bus or whatever. And I'm not playing uh, Pokemon uh, ROMs on the phone. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Uh, uh, legitimate Pokemon games on my 3DS. And uh, that, 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 that's, it's just one game that I'll always play. I love the storyline. I love the, the, the mechanics of, of the game. Oh, this is Sandstone. What's this? Have we found something juicy here? I haven't got a spade, unfortunately, so we're just going to dig with uh, our item finder. At least if we get up the top of here, we're going to be able to find, uh, uh, what you call it, a decent place to view of the surrounding land. We might be able to get a good look at some... Is this like a, a dungeon or something, or is it just literally sandstone? But this is where Groudon's meant to spawn, I think, up the top of these uh, desert mountains. And... If you ask me, this this does seem like a desert mountain. We've got a dub trio down there, absolutely beautiful. Three dicks in the sand, how very uh, irritating on on the old ball sack. We've also got a butt ton of cactus, or cacti. And uh, that's about it for up here. There's no white items. Holy hell, how do we get down here safely? Let's jump off here. It didn't take any damage. Oh, no, 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 no! Guys, 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 my heart is absolutely pounding, absolutely beating 10 to the dozen. Thankfully, we have Feather Fallen. I think we would have genuinely died there if we didn't have Feather Fallen. I think we genuinely would have died there. That was unbelievable. I can't believe that. Let's eat some bread. Let's heal up again. Look at those Vibrava over there having a little dance off. Oh, my heart. I tell you what, this is an idea. This is an idea, guys. You know how you got face cam? How about if you had heart cam? Like, uh, if you attach your uh, heart monitor on you, imagine attaching a heart monitor to yourself and then seeing... Imagine seeing the PokeTuber or, or the, the YouTuber's heart as it races. Imagine that in a scary game. Obviously, you've got the face cam so you can see them literally shitting themselves. But, oh, we could have an ass cam for literally shitting themselves. Uh, but you'd have the heart cam so you can see what their heart rate's like in that. Just attach a heart monitor. Imagine that. How cool would that be? I would absolutely... Somebody needs to implement that idea and then just give me credit for it because... I'm too lazy to even go about doing that. Look at that heckin'. Look at him popping out the side there, ready to snatch its prey. So we've got a Magmar here. That looks a bit different, that Magmar. I don't think it is a shiny, though. I wish shinies give off, like, a kind of aura. Maybe that would be a little bit easier. We've got a lot of... We've got a butt ton of pick someone down there, but still no shinies. We're 13 minutes into the episode. We've, we've just not had any shinies. We did have a little bit of danger when we fell off that cliff over there. Um, cliff Richard back there, but... Nothing other than that. I still feel that we should wander about here. I've got a Vibrava over there. I love the music around here. It's awfully catchy. Let's keep going. We want to go west. Kind of go west. Like the band. There's a band called Go West, right? I think so. Oh, I love the music. It's absolutely fantastic. Right. Okay. Where are we going? Look at that guy. Look at that Firo. He's showing no fear. Let's throw a... Let's, let's attack the Firo. Oh, level 46? I think it's uh, probably a good idea to run from that. <laughs> level 46. Um, we don't want to be losing any Pokemon. We definitely don't want two episodes in a row where we lose a uh, Pixelmon. That would not... That would not be cool. What the hell was that? Something just absolutely flew across the sky there. We've got Diglett there. We've got... Uh, why are there no bosses? Surely there's got to be Cubones, Marowaks, there's got to be all kinds of things. Let's just keep going this way. Let's cross the water and keep heading towards uh, the south. And um, we've got a lovely Sea King there. Again, it's not a boss or a shiny. And guys, we're just getting further and further away from home. But the good thing is we're, we're exploring new land and we're, we're having a little chat. We're having a little dialogue about it all. I really need to watch where I'm going. I, that's another... That, if that was a ravine, 
we would probably have been dead. Thank fuck we've got Feather Fallen. Thank fuck I took the time to actually do that. And we've got um, quite a lot of levels up again. Apparently, we get um, enchanting levels for defeating Pixelmon as well. So that's why we've got quite a lot here. Because obviously, I did a little bit of leveling up off screen. Okay, oh, Duo Ocean. We're not seeing one of these guys yet. That's pretty cool. Um, look at that tiny polywag. He's so small and cute. Um, what else? We've got some swamps here. This is pretty cool. Um, again, they're fairly open, so hopefully we'll be able to see quite a few Pixelmon. We don't want to rush into there just yet. Let's have a look back up here. As I said, I like the look of uh, the desert biome. We need to find some extreme hills and stuff like that as well. We've not found any dragon Pokemon, like a Bagon or something. That would be awesome. I'm sure they're extreme hills that you get Bagons. I would really like one of them to join the party. Obviously, we've already got um, Comet, but just in case, man. Just in case. I, I like having a backup because... Well, look what happened in the previous episode. Sweet, sweet. Mill tank. Um, but yes. What have we got down here? We've got a, a, a Shinxy evolution. I can't remember what. Luxray. It's not Luxray. It's Luxio. That's the one. You'll get there eventually, Raz. And uh, let's go down into the swamps. Let's check out what's in the swamps. Go for a quick swim. Uh, bathe in the water. Oh, my, uh, my heart has kind of returned back to normal now after those... Uh, those unfortunate leaps um, off of cliffs, etc, etc. Right, we're going through the swamp here. This is nice. I, I really like the, the look of this swamp. It's really quite beautiful, but there is not enough Pixelmon spawning. Is that guy stuck in the air? Looks like he's stuck in the air. It looks like uh, maybe um, the game has uh, paused a little bit. So let's uh, let it load back in because apparently it just won't fucking work properly. Okay, there we go. The pixel one is actually gone. Sit out Slayer. Slayer, come back. Thank you very much. I did... Oh, fuck's sake. Retrieved Slayer. Thank you. Right, okay. Let's let this ship load back in. It looks like it's loaded back in, so that's fine. Let's throw out... Yep, there's Slayer. Thank you very much. Sometimes it just takes a little bit once we're moving from biome to biome. For some reason, it just likes to lag out a little bit. We have to let it load in. For some... My computer is, like, so high-powered. I don't understand why it lags out like this, but it does, which is really annoying. I think it's probably because we've gone into a new biome, so a lot of new Pixelmon try to spawn at once, and it just doesn't like that, but um, it will sort itself out in a second. There we go. Um, okay, so let's keep exploring this way. Um, we could get some more reeds for the house, but by this point, the, the vines are probably spread all over the house. It'll look like something out of uh, Jumanji or something by the time we get home. Magical. Looks like some Pixelmon have spawned over here, so let's go over and check out these woods here. That'll be absolutely fantastic as well, and we can move on from there. So yes, basically, the Final Fantasy series is a series that I really like to play whenever there's a new game. I like to do that. I would love to get a PS4 um, for the new games. That would be brilliant. Look at those bell sprouts. Um, and I would love to try some of the new games. I think Final Fantasy XIII was the last one I played, and that was that was a, quite a while ago now. Again, because I've just I've just not had enough time. Adult life, man, this sucks. I wish I could just sit around at home all day and play Pixelmon and 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 just make YouTube videos for you guys because that would be that would be so much better. That'd be absolutely so much better. Um, let's keep going. Hopefully we'll find something for real soon because we're getting to the 18 minute mark. Even if we do find something at the moment, oh, is that a village? Is that a village? That looks like a village, so let's go and check out this. Um, let's go check out the village, see what's going on over here. It looks like it's not loaded quite, so um, we better let that load in. There we go. Seems to have loaded back in. And these guys are um, absolutely going ham over here. That was a bit crazy. I don't like it when that happens. So we, it was loading in a village, so let's check out this village. Let's go for a little bit of a... What are you doing in here? Slayer? Why are you in this house? <laughs> this is somebody else's house. You can't just barge in there like that. Okay, let's just wander about. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll save you, mate. I'll save you. Let's come in here. Hey, 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 hey. How rude of you blocking me out your house like that. Okay, let's uh, actually... Let's have a little kip. Just right in the middle of town. Just have a little sleep right in the middle of town. That's going to be brilliant. And uh, we'll see what we can get on from here. So we've got another village. So, ooh, My headphones are uh, popping out there. We want to... Uh, See what we can do. Let's come down here. We kind of want, where's the blacksmith in this village? We want to just go in there and see if we can get some diamonds because that's the easiest way to get diamonds in this game, it seems. Because I've been hunting quite a lot for diamonds. Each time I go off episode, I go back to my mines and see if I can find some of that. Oh, this guy's going mental. Let's dance with him. Let's dance, young sir. Let's dance. Okay, so let's pop up over here and uh, we'll go down here. See, it doesn't look like there is a blacksmith around here. This is awfully odd formation of stuff here. 
Um, got some ground. Oh, there it is. There's that blacksmith. Let's go along here and let's uh, quickly pick up the. Hopefully, he's got some rare items in here and we can move on. We've got obsidian out the ass. So let's take the obsidian. Let's take the apples. We're not bothered about the armor because we've got our very own armor with us. Let's quickly take a look about the area and then we'll probably end off the episode here because that seems like a nice place to, to finish off right beside the. Uh, right beside the Pixelmon set. Uh, Pixelmon set. Right beside the. Um, the home, and the, the the village is what I'm trying to say. The right beside the village of all these the, all these fancy gentlemen. Look at them all. These guys are loving life here. Um, let's quickly take a look over this side of it because we might find some decent pixelmon over here. What spawned in? We want to go up the top here because then we'll be able to use our sight. We've got a Nidoran uh, male over there. Needle King would be pretty baller. I would like a Needle King. I don't want an Arbok, so Arbok, you get out of my life. What we got over here? A bunch of Tori. And um, we got Pachirisu over there. Let's go and check out the Taurus over here. Nidoran Reno, you can stay out of my way. We've got the Taurus here. Um, oh, Terrace's lover. And um, what else have we got? Look at them. Absolutely, I love this. I love the sprites of the Taurus. Actually, they're really, really good. We've got. You're not shiny, are you? And um, we've got a giraffe rig there. We've got a tiny need around female. What else have we got over this sort of direction? Doesn't look like we've got much over there. They all seem to have spawned in this area. I wish I could just fly up to this guy, make all the pixel mon despawn, and then just jump down and and have done with it that way. Let's run. We don't want to. We got our an intimidation drop as well. We don't want to be messing about with that. Looks like we're out of luck again, guys. It looks like we're completely out of luck again. Yes, we found another village, which is absolutely fantastic. We've explored further and further regions, but we still haven't found ourselves a boss Pokemon, a shiny Pokemon, or anything like that. We found ourselves another village, which is good, and we've actually managed to have a nice, uh, beautiful little chat together. But other than that, I'm really disappointed. I'm really disappointed that we didn't find anything. So let's run from there. Yeah, but that's what, I suppose that's what, that's what's going to happen in the series from time to time. Some of the episodes are going to be really exciting like the last one, or they're not going to be anywhere near as exciting as, as this one. But we didn't lose anybody. That's the main thing, guys. That was the main thing for this episode. This guy looks, no, he looks, he looks fine, he looks normal. Let's keep going this way a little bit further and see if, uh, if anybody spawned over here. But at least we're still further away from home, so that's the main thing. We'll be able to continue on with our exploration in the next episode and see what we can find. We found some cool, cool-ass Pokemon in this episode anyway. And uh, not only that, but we uh, managed to keep all of our Pixelmon alive. And I am very, very pleased for that. Let's quickly have another scope around the village because you never know something might have spawned in the other side. That will be worth our while. We've got... The R box are so damn popular. I really wish one of them would turn into a boss. We've got Scyther over here. That's not a boss or a shiny. Scyther, out my out my business, Scyther, out my business. We got Shinx there. And we have got absolutely nothing else. Let's jump across there and come over here. We've got a bunch of Luxios. Luxio might be quite cool to capture some point. We don't have a lightning Pokemon. And uh, Pidgey there is doing sweet FA. So it looks like, guys, no boss Pokemon and no uh, shiny Pixelmon again. Next episode, we're going to be carrying on with the adventure. Probably going to start off from that village and then move move our way further further along. And uh, hopefully hopefully find ourselves in the next episode. We've got a couple of mushrooms there. Have a quick, last quick look around. Rackate, you're not shiny or a boss. Ah, well, at least we found another village. That's pretty cool. Um, we're just going to set up camp here for the night. Apparently, we were not allowed to. There we go. We'll set up camp here for the night, guys, and uh, watch this uh, watch this Firo just dance in the trees. Set up a nest. Watching the Firo in his natural habitat. The Firo sets up a nest, and I'm going to eat his eggs. Either way, guys, hope you've enjoyed this episode. Let's see if we can keep like, getting the likes to 100. It's absolutely fantastic the amount of support that's gone on this series so far. And uh, remember to answer, uh, ask me a question of the day for the next episode. Thank you very much to all of those who have asked one so far. Uh, the, the amount of questions that come in is really hard to choose. And if you've got a name for the female buy shop, let's see if we can get some badass nicknames for Monday's episode. But either way, guys, I've been Rasbowski. You've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye! <laughs>